So first, I will navigate to the resource groups and create a new resource group, the first resource group. Let's name the resource group RG demo rod one, and then I will use the UK South. Create. Then refresh. Then we can see here our resource group. Let's access that. Then I will create the first virtual machine, which is Windows 10. I will select the first one and create this version 1909. Then here name the machine VM Win Demo Rod 1. And the same location UK South. I prefer with the fast RAM, which is 16. And then here I will put the username emerald1. Here just to put a strong password. You can watch this video for more information about Docker, containerization, and where and how Docker can fit with DevOps and CI/CD pipelines. And here I will allow the RDB port open, then create. So let's get back to the resource group. And then I will create the second virtual machine, which is Ubuntu using the same name convention, VM Linux demo rod one. This is the two virtual machine for the demo. The same location. I prefer fast RAM machine. I will use a password for the SSH. And then here put the password, the strong password and confirm the password. And here I will leave port 22 opened and create the virtual machine. Let's navigate back to the resource group again. Give some times and then refresh. I can see the two virtual machine created. Then I will navigate the windows virtual machine let's close all the notification and then click connect to download the rdb file or the remote desktop protocol file and connect to the virtual machine because this is a local machine it's not connected to any active directory then putting dot and my name and the password then connect to the machine. Take the default settings, that's fine. And the first step is to install Chrome, my favorite browser. Just download and I don't want to participate. Then run. Just move this. Now Chrome installed. Let's search for Git for Windows. Navigate first to Git and then download the 64 bit. Once I download it, I will install Git. Just more info and run anyway so I can trust. Just default installation. This will install the gate for Windows so I can remotely connect to the Linux machine using git bash. So now it's installed. So let's now bin that to the taskbar git bash then i will run the git bash and change the font so it can be more clear i will make it 
12 adjust the window now it's fine and then let's navigate to the Linux machine and get copy of the IP the public IP and then using the SSH to connect to that machine so here I should type yes then here I type the password now I'm connecting and if I click get version this is on the remote machine so get installed on the Linux machine so let's clear the screen and then the first step is to install the update of the package management of the Linux the apt get is the package management for Linux and the best practices is to first update the package management which update all the URL for the resources for the package management so I can install all the required application or packages on on the machine of course if I didn't update the the package management resource in many cases this will cause a problem while I'm installing any software on the machine so let's update that now I can install a local Postgres on the Linux machine and this again it is required to update the package management before installing any software on the machine so this will acquire the Postgres database and install it on this machine just speeding up all of that so this is not the actual time of course so now Postgres database is installed then I will connect to the local Postgres database by running bsql now we can see Postgres and which means that this is connected and if there is any error for the connection this will display an error while I'm trying to connect let's acquire it by type slash q to quiet the Postgres then I will create a Postgres user that I will use to create the database so this will create the Postgres user and then I will grant permission for that user to be able to create database to do that first I need to connect to the Postgres database by running u Postgres psql now I am on the Postgres database and then I will grant the permission for the created user so as we can see alter user emerald one created db this is the role so alter role as we can see now I will quiet 